So what we're witnessing today in science echoes a historic turning point, the moment when humanity first realized Earth wasn't the center of the universe. Back then, brave thinkers like Galileo Galilei were persecuted, imprisoned, and even burned at the stake for challenging the status quo with the heliocentric model. Now, centuries later, similar battles over truth and freedom and research continue, casting doubt on how open and rational science truly is. Instead of a healthy pursuit of knowledge, it sometimes feels like a fight to preserve outdated ideas, clinging to old paradigms that simply don't hold up. The latest discoveries reveal a universe vastly different from what we believed. Contrary to long-held assumptions, there wasn't nothing before the Big Bang, a fact many researchers suspected but lacked evidence for, until the Webb telescope shocked the world with images demanding a new perspective. The idea that the Big Bang happened 13.8 billion years ago with the universe expanding linearly no longer fits the data. Quantum physics has long hinted that absolute nothingness is impossible, and now theoretical models suggest the universe might have no clear beginning or end. Even the very nature of time is under scrutiny. According to the emerging timescape model, time itself could be an illusion, a construct humans are trapped within, and our entire cosmology might be built on this illusion. The latest images from the Webb telescope are nothing short of mind-blowing. For the first time, we're seeing clues that suggest a universe existed before the Big Bang, meaning the Big Bang might not have been the absolute beginning, but rather a transition from a mysterious earlier state. Visionary scientists believe it's only a matter of time before we uncover more about what came before our universe. Recently, the Webb Telescope's observations have also revealed that the universe is expanding unevenly, at different speeds in different directions, a discovery that directly challenges the long-standing inflation theory and calls it into serious question. Adding to the mystery, astronomers have spotted hundreds of ancient, highly developed galaxies that appear to have formed before the Big Bang, shattering previous models of cosmic history. Peering back 13.5 billion years, the Webb Telescope sees no evidence of a clear beginning, no sign of young galaxies forming, and no dark age as once predicted. The universe, it seems, is far stranger and more complex than we ever imagined. Despite mounting evidence, Many conservative scientists stubbornly cling to outdated theories, resisting the clear facts as if stuck in the Middle Ages. Concepts like the multiverse or cyclic cosmologies have long been dismissed by narrow-minded skeptics, even though growing evidence now supports these ideas. It sometimes feels like science today isn't about who finds the best answers, but who can rally the most followers. These old-school views fight against breakthroughs in quantum physics and modern cosmology. But with every new image and data set from the Webb Telescope, the tide of change grows stronger. But what's so threatening about embracing a new worldview? Has humanity's place on Earth truly been diminished since we learned that Earth isn't the center of the universe? Not at all! The only ones who suffered were those dogmatic authorities whose power was tied to old, disproven beliefs. Back then, the church feared free scientific inquiry would replace religious dogma as the intellectual authority, and in many ways, that's exactly what happened. Today's battles play out not with imprisonment or executions, but in press conferences, academic journals, social media, and a flood of competing studies and interpretations. Is this a war of science? Maybe not quite. Thanks to advanced technology, we have more reliable facts than ever before. It's only a matter of time before the truth emerges clearly. Many hopeful scientists believe that new discoveries from telescopes like Webb will soon settle these debates once and for all. After a period of upheaval and confusion, new truths will inevitably rise, reshaping our worldview entirely. The latest data strongly suggests that our old ideas about space, time, and the origins of the cosmos are either fundamentally flawed or incomplete. Every day, the cosmic puzzle comes into sharper focus, bringing us closer to unveiling a brand new cosmology. 
Already, the pieces are aligning to reveal a captivating glimpse of what may lie ahead. One of the most exciting concepts gaining attention is the bubble bath multiverse. Rooted in string theory, this idea imagines our universe as just one bubble among countless others floating in an enormous cosmic bath. Each bubble represents a separate universe with its own unique physical laws and dimensions. String theory proposes that the fundamental building blocks of reality are tiny one-dimensional vibrating strings and that the universe extends beyond the familiar four dimensions. A remarkable consequence of this framework is the possibility that multiple universes exist simultaneously, some perhaps layered within one another or running parallel, with entirely different realities, timelines, and physical laws. Building on this, the idea of eternal inflation takes on a much grander scale. Instead of one universe simply expanding into empty space, imagine countless universes simultaneously growing, shrinking, colliding, or drifting past one another, like bubbles swirling in a cosmic boiling pot. Some of these bubbles are expanding rapidly in certain regions, while others are denser or compressed in places. New universes, or bubbles, are constantly forming, some flicker briefly before fading away, while others evolve complex structures like stars, galaxies, or maybe even life itself. In this view, our own Big Bang wasn't a one-of-a-kind event, but just a local burst in a vast, ongoing cosmic process. Perhaps the Big Bang was simply the moment our bubble universe sparked into existence, a fleeting flash amid an eternal cosmic bath of possibilities. This idea ties closely to cyclical universe models, where one universe follows another in an endless chain. It's becoming clearer that the Big Bang might not have been the absolute beginning, but rather a transition from a universe that came before ours. In Roger Penrose's conformal cyclic cosmology, the universe follows an endless cycle. It emerges, evolves, dies, and then gives birth to a brand new universe. In this view, the Big Bang isn't the absolute beginning, but more like a cosmic reboot, a fresh start for reality itself. Yet, this idea isn't confined to just one universe. Countless cyclical universes could exist simultaneously, side by side, one after another, or even nested within one another, creating an infinite rhythm of expansion, decay, and renewal. This theory gains strong support from the stunningly developed galaxies the Webb Telescope has revealed in the early universe, along with the massive black holes at their centers, According to traditional models, these enormous black holes couldn't have grown so quickly, yet they clearly exist, challenging old assumptions. When Penrose first introduced his cyclic cosmology idea in 2015, it faced heavy criticism. But just 10 years later, the breathtaking images from the Webb telescope have validated many of his groundbreaking concepts. Ironically, this progress has unsettled some conservative scientists. Ironically, the very same community that championed the Webb Telescope launch. Many scientists hoped this mission would confirm the Lambda CDM model, the classic Big Bang theory, cosmic inflation, and a precise age of the universe. Instead, what we're seeing is growing uncertainty and a flood of new questions. Before the universe began, there may have been a vast, nearly empty vacuum filled with a mysterious form of energy. No stars, no galaxies, no familiar concept of time, just silence and energy. This vacuum energy might have triggered cosmic inflation, a phase when space and time expanded rapidly and set everything in motion. In this picture, the Big Bang isn't the start of everything, but rather the moment when structure, matter, and light first appeared. In other words, it's the shift from a formless sea of energy to the rich, dynamic universe we see today. The big question has grown. It's no longer just about whether the Big Bang happened or what came before it, but whether there was ever a true beginning at all and what the real nature of our universe might be. Maybe we're living inside a vast multiverse surrounded by other dimensions. What we perceive as space, time, and matter could actually be an illusion shaped by our own minds, a framework we've constructed that's now reaching its limits. These new perspectives are reshaping how we think about existence itself. Imagine how people's view of the cosmos expanded when they first learned there are countless suns beyond our own, or when the first stunning images of bizarre, colorful galaxies came into focus. Since then, we've pushed further, trying to measure the universe's size, age, and purpose. 
But now, quantum physics is telling us that what we thought was reality might be something entirely different. Reality probably holds far more variations and possibilities than we've imagined. But where does that leave science as we know it? Leading minds like Michio Kaku, Neil deGrasse Tyson, and Brian Cox emphasize the need to break down barriers between disciplines and unify our theories. It calls for open-mindedness, because the key to unlocking deeper truths might be closer than we realize. If this video blew your mind harder than the Big Bang itself, smash that subscribe button before the universe resets.